Ah, what a lovely day. Just watching the animals do their thing. Hello guys and welcome back to another episode. I hope you enjoyed the start of this episode. I thought I'd do something a little bit different and start off with a time lapse with you all. As you probably saw, I built a river. Well, I didn't build the river. Basically, I just tore it out and <laughs> re-put it in. But I thought it was looking a bit shabby before and now I think it might have a little bit more style. Look a little bit more like an actual river. The amount of time it has taken to do this has left my eyes going cross-eyed. I really can't take myself seriously when my eyes are like this. <laughs> I am only joking with you guys. But I did think that why don't we start this episode off and have a look at our little map and see how it changes. So we have our pieces here. Oh, you see the river. It's starting to come in. And you can see about as far as I made it with the resources I had. I have no gravel. I have a ton of dirt and sand. But... My gravel is pretty much non-existent. I just finished up as much as I could today and... I think I'm pretty happy with it. And we can get a start on some of the other projects we have. But I've got as much as I can do with what I had and I'm pretty happy with how it started to turn out. I'll still have to come in here, maybe dress it up a little bit more, but it's looking pretty good. I even got the lily pads in, which are non-renewable, annoying as. But we got our squiddy friends in here and I have been collecting a lot of ink sacks. I have nearly five stacks of ink sacks just from killing squids in this section of the river. No joke. But I've dressed it all nice, all the water is in. You probably saw I used a bit of the ice that we had to quickly put in water as well. And that is a useful tip for you guys. Ice can help you make rivers real quickly. So definitely suggest you guys use that technique in the future. But guys, I think that the next project we have to take on is getting across. Because you can see right now, I've just got nothing. <laughs> it is looking incredibly bare. And we need a way across this giant river. I was thinking maybe we could have like a tree in there, but I'll wait until we get the actual bridge installed to figure out how that's going to be placed. But guys, getting away from all that watery business, I think first things first, we get a new sword. Our pointy stick here is getting to the end of its life, and as much as I love it, it's very, it's very nostalgic being my first sword. I think we hanging up on the wall, and we get something new. So why don't we make ourselves a diamond sword here, and let's see what enchantments we might be able to get. Do the skeleton farm! So guys, we are at our farm now, and I have bought a few of the extra things that I might have needed, like some more diamonds. <laughs> and I thought, why don't we get a diamond armor set going? Because my armor is gonna die. My little booties here are close to death as well. 38 durability. And I don't even have a helmet. I'm just a squid. So maybe we can get some diamond gear going and get ourselves ready for a bit more adventuring. But I'll be right back with you all. Alright guys, I've got 30 levels here. Let's see what enchantments we might be able to get. We've already got a sharpness for our sword there. That's not bad. We've got efficiency for the pig. I'm breaking for our chest and protection three. I don't think I'm going to go protection three, but I am tossing up between the pickaxe and the sword. I've got sharpness four, so I think actually maybe we might try the pickaxe again. And it's fortune every time. All right, guys, another 30 levels and another enchantment. I think... The one to do here is probably the fire protection, because my sword is only a smite. So, why don't we go for the fire protection? Ah, oh, that's not bad. Fire protection I'm breaking. That's actually pretty good. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. We got a really good sword. Oh, Jesus. I, I wasn't expecting that. Oh wow, so look at that one guys. Looting 2, knockback 2, sharpness 4, and sweeping edge 3. What a great sword. I'm honestly really happy with that one. I... I didn't expect that. So I think guys, I'm gonna just 
wait here, get these last things enchanted, and we will be right back with you all. Uh-huh, and I'm back, guys, and I'm thinking maybe we do a little bit of exploring. Change up the pace a little bit. I've been doing a lot of building, and I think I just want to run around and explore. See if we can't maybe find a dark oak forest as well. I think that'd be awesome. So I got my materials with me, and I'm thinking we maybe head out this way. Back towards where the swamp was. Hopefully we can find something really good, guys. I haven't done a lot of exploring this way, so I figured, why not? We can get it to know our land a little bit more, and maybe find some cool new structures. My horse is gonna drown. But I wanted to sit here and just have a chat with you all. Maybe to get to know you guys a little bit better. And you can get to know me. I have been trying to find this cave because every time I cross here, I'm like, why am I hearing so many skeletons? This is why. <laughs> That's not too bad. We'll light it up quickly. Run off. Wow, I nearly went straight down that ravine. Holy Jesus. <sighs> nearly died a ravine, finding some weed like... <laughs> What is going on with this world generation? This is not how it's supposed to be. Yeah, we found one of these, uh, it's supposed to spawn in the ocean, these little pieces. And as much as I'd like to come and collect all oh, this delicious mossy, I... Ooh, a buried treasure map. Yeah, I don't want to come and ruin this, because as weird as it is, I think it's pretty cool to have things like this, you know, just sitting in your world. But I think maybe we should go find this buried treasure. That's gotta be... below us, maybe? Oh, and there's another one there! What is going on? And now we are getting a ton of the drowned spawns. So I think actually we could have found like a drowned village or something here. Because generally in these kinds of areas, with these buildings and structures, you'll find a lot of drowned spawning in. Look at them all, just heading over. Well, one guy's got a Nautilus shell. Hmm, that might be good to get. There is just mob after mob here. But I don't think we... Oh, we did get a Nautilus shell from that. That's awesome. And we've got the main one here. This is the biggest structure you'll find in these kind of spots. And we seem to have a friend in here. We'll just rid ourselves of him and find out... Whoop. Find out what's in the chest after I nearly drown. Oh, <gasps> we have a... What? Mending on a fishing rod? Alright, I'm going. Alright, now that I've explored all of those ruins, let's go check out where that treasure chest could be. Alright, it's gonna just be on this shore here. And keep going. Oh! <gasps> Guys, we found our first water temple. Oh my god, and that's pretty close to where we spawned. Like, this is gonna be so good. We'll be able to come back. We'll have to drain that all. But we'll come back, we'll kill all the guardians, and make a guardian farm. That's gonna be awesome. Wow, that's really cool that it's right there. So, let's find this treasure. Best way to do this is to get yourself pretty much as close as you can to right on X marks the spot. And having a little dig around. There we go. So it's generally going to be at the bottom of all the sand. You shouldn't have to mine any stone or anything. It should always be under the sand. Whew. Diamond. Mm, I don't know where my horse is gone, but I don't better care. All right, made a little bit more space here. And now I just got to find where my horse ventured to. Here we are. <laughs> I hate that. They just wander off and you just lose them. That's why I always need a time down. <laughs> but I wanted to let you guys know just something I've been struggling with for a while. I've been injured for probably about a year now in total and it's really started to affect me to the point where I actually am coming out with this video later because I haven't been able to move my entire right arm. My right arm is really sore. I get a lot of pain and I actually just physically can't move it which is kind of scary. So, I'm going to the doctors, getting that all checked out, but it 
does take away from me being able to play games sometimes, which really sucks. And sometimes it requires me to just stop when I'm right in the middle of doing something. So some cuts may be pretty strange and very weird, but I honestly try my best to keep it all concise and make sure it all makes sense. But sometimes it's just hard, you know, because there might be a few days here and there where I just cannot record and I forget what I've been doing. I need to go back, check it out. And it's just, it's an interruption. It's a big interruption. And I just, I hope that it can get sorted out because at this point, I don't really know what is wrong with my body. There's just, oh, something going on. That is so a dark forest. Woo, we found it. I'm so happy. <laughs> we found a water temple today, guys, and a dark forest. I wasn't even trying to look for the water temple, but I was like, mm, you know, if we find anything. Yeah, wow. How amazing is that? I think I'm gonna quickly make a little garage for, ooh, for my horsey and chops down some of these goodies. But something important, guys, is you should always be trying to take care of your health. No one else is gonna be able to look out for you like you can. And only you know how you're supposed to feel. You're the only person who lives in your body every single day. So if you feel like there is something wrong, don't feel bad to go and ask and make sure. You should always try and be at your healthiest because you, you may never know how serious an issue could be. And definitely, definitely never let chest pain go unchecked. Oh, hi. Well, I think we might as well just head back home. Yeah, we found everything we wanted to find. Maybe we should head back home and get to work on making the bridge. I'm putting it off and I think we just need to get it done and knock it out of the way. So I might see you guys back home home i don't know if i'll continue to play today the pain doesn't seem to fade away oh don't fall come here tofu tofu slowly but surely our map is getting filled out and i think the land actually connects here so that shouldn't be too hard for me to fill out as well and all this down here just is ocean. I'm not quite sure what's up here, but I do believe it's more ocean up that way as well. So yeah, our world is looking pretty cool, guys. I'm pretty impressed. But guys, I think I might quickly get these saplings planted down and we might start on our bridge. We need to get it done and I'm putting it off, but no longer. We will get it done. All right, guys, so we're here and we are about to start our bridge. Now I've lined up a little spot here and I think we'll just connect them up and then try and maybe make a nice curve to it, I think as well. Now this is gonna be a slightly odd bridge because most of the time you see a bridge and it levels up to the other side, but this one is just gonna completely curve down. So there's 29 spaces in between these two points and I'm thinking we can curve this pretty well. So it's going to be a little bit more curved than this as we're going to put it in the half slabs to give it that bit of more roundedness. But I think I might extend this path maybe to be three wide. And I think that should probably give us enough room to be able to come across. Hmm. I'm not sure if I want to be able to do it, if I want to do a railing or not but I do think I want to make it a stone bridge. So I might do that and come back with you all when I've got something a little bit more put together. All right, so I think guys, this is a pretty good start and I think we'll have a nice little curve, having a middle pillar and another curve. All right, well, I think I've started to get something close to the shape that I'm liking. I think I might mess around with it a little bit more, maybe strengthen this pillar up a little bit, add some support down the bottom fatten it up and i think i'll add in this other side and i'll be right back with you all <laughs> all right guys i am back and with the power of editing we have finished look at this we have our bridge in now guys how awesome is that i'm honestly i'm so happy that we could smash this one out for this episode it was a lot of work to do but I'm pretty happy with how it's turned out. We have some blocks here just to show the bridge's age and how it's all starting to break down now. 
having a little walk across. You can see I've added in different blocks here, lots of mossy. I've added in a little bit of the green concrete powder as well. I thought that would be a good contrast to the grass we have as well. But why don't we hop into shaders and have a look and see how it is. Shaders are on. We can have a nice little walk across our bridge now. No more going up and down the hill. Oh, I'm so happy here now. <laughs> I think that looks beautiful. I feel like it it really fits the theme that we're going to go for in this area. Not everything has to look new. Sometimes giving things a bit of history and showing its age can really add some characteristic to your worlds. I've used some blackstone pillars in here just to add a little bit of difference. I was thinking it's looking very stone-like and with the age of this bridge, wood's not going to last. It's going gonna, it's gonna to wear down and it's going to go pretty quickly. So having a variance to the stone that still looked like it could hold itself was very important for me. And I think the blackstone really helped to pull that off. And we've got the lights added on the bridge, so no mobs should be spawning on it. I'm honestly really stoked with how this one is turned out. I think I'll probably come in here between episodes, fill in along this river with a few more trees, adding in a nice tree in the middle there, and it's going to really help to liven up our area here. And I'm sure you could tell this whole time I have been collecting squids that have just died. So we've accidentally made a squid farm here in this episode as well. Lucky us. <laughs> I am stoked guys. I had a lot of fun in this episode. Running around, we found a dark oak forest. We found ourselves a water temple and we've built ourselves a bridge. So I consider that pretty dang successful if I don't say so myself but I think that's gonna be where we have to leave it for you guys today if you guys enjoyed feel free to leave a like and why don't you leave me a comment let me know what you liked and what you're hoping to see more of I always appreciate it thank you so much guys and I'll see you next time bye